come out of the lab, you'll be taken back to the bed you were admitted to, usually. Um, you're going to be placed on the monitor, because we like to monitor you afterwards. Um, we'll do your observations regularly. Um, you can usually eat and drink straight away after the procedure. If you've had a general anaesthetic, it's usually we like to leave it an hour or so. Generally, you'll be staying in overnight, and the next morning, you'll then go round to the pacing department and have an x-ray and a pacing check. And that's just routine checks to make, that make sure that everything is working fine. Um, and the doctor will actually go through those results with you. And if they are all okay, you'll be able to go home the following day. I had it under um, lo local anaesthetic and um, I don't, you know, it was very straightforward. I seemed to be in there for, for less than an hour um, and I was, you know, felt fine. I was able to eat after the, after the operation. Um, I can honestly say that I had very little pain from the wound at all um, and I was out of hospital the following day. I think it's important to know that there will be some pain, we, that this isn't a painless um, operation. There'll be bruising and some pain around your shoulder area but we do um, send you home with painkillers and just general paracetamol should help. For the first few days it'll be quite quite tender your arm but we do encourage you to try and try and move the arm so you don't get a you know, a, a kind of stiff shoulder. One of the most important things is not to lift your arm above shoulder level for about four to six weeks, and that's mainly because the leads that are in the heart need to heal properly. The pain can go after a few days or it can last a couple of weeks, and you'll just feel that you're ready to do a bit more and um, it's not bothering you so much. Um, some people will go back to work after a week or two weeks, and some people take a bit longer, they won't go back to work. Your first Appointment is after one month, so a lot of people like to have that first appointment, that first check, and then they feel that they're ready to do a bit more and go back to work. I could have gone back to work probably after six weeks. You know, my job is quite a physical job, so I had to tone it down a little bit. I'm a builder. Um, but no, I mean, I'm still able to do work-wise everything that I was doing before, and, and I was able to go back to work in, in quite a short period of time. The wound is stitched in three layers underneath and those stitches will dissolve so there's no need to have any stitches removed. It's common sense to just watch the wounds, make sure there's no redness or inflamed, there's no oozing. Um, it's very, very rare that that would happen but if it did we'd ask you to get in touch with us straight away and then we'll, we'll take a look at it for you. The biggest single impact really that um, having the unit fitted uh, had on my life was the not being able to drive for six months. But um, now I don't, you know, I don't really know that the, the unit's even there. I certainly can't feel it doing anything or, or anything like that. And um, can barely, when I look in the mirror now, it's, you know, time's passed and the, the wound is healed. Um, I would barely even know that the unit was there either. You can't really see it. I would like doing lots of training, running, etc. I'm still doing that now. Um, I've just finished a, a 24 hour three peaks challenge um, two weeks ago and that went absolutely fine, really enjoyed that. Um, if it was one thing that it stopped me from doing was, um, was probably boxing and that's, I was getting too old for that anyway so it's not really affected me at all, it's not stopped me doing you know, anything that I enjoyed doing before.